Today's topic is constipation. Constipation is a condition of the digestive system where an individual has hard feces that are difficult to expel. In most cases, this occurs because the colon has absorbed too much water from the food that is in the colon. The slower the food moves through the digestive tract, the more water the colon will absorb from it. Consequently, the feces become dry and hard. When this happens, emptying the bowels can become very painful. Causes Constipation usually results from not getting enough exercise, not drinking enough water, or from a diet that does not include an adequate amount of fiber-rich foods like beans, bran cereals, fruits, raw vegetables, rice, and whole grain breads. Other causes of constipation include anal fissure, or a tear or crack in the lining of the anus, chronic kidney failure, colon or rectal cancer, depression, hypercalcemia, abnormally high levels of calcium in the blood, hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid gland, illness requiring complete bed rest, irritable bowel syndrome, and stress. Signs and Symptoms The main symptoms of constipation are increased difficulty and straining when passing stools. Passing fewer stools than usual can be a sign of constipation. Other symptoms include stomach ache, stomach cramps, feeling bloated and nauseous, losing appetite. Diagnosis Medical History There are many tests that can diagnose severe constipation, and most people only need a few basic tests. First, the doctor or healthcare professional will take a medical history and physical examination to allow the doctor to define the type of constipation that's present, uncover any supplements or prescription products you are taking, or diseases or other health problems you have. Other tests are available for people who have severe constipation that doesn't respond easily to treatment. Physical examination. A physical examination may identify diseases, for example, scleroderma, that can cause constipation. A rectal examination with the finger may uncover a tight anal sphincter that may be making defecation difficult, or it may find that the muscles of the pelvic floor do not relax normally. If a material-filled colon can be felt through the abdominal wall, it suggests that it is severe. Stool in the rectum suggests a problem with the anal, rectal, or pelvic floor muscles. Blood tests. Blood tests may be appropriate in evaluating your condition. More specifically, blood tests for thyroid hormone to detect hypothyroidism and for calcium to uncover excess parathyroid hormone may be helpful. Abdominal x-ray. Large amounts of material in the colon usually can be visualized on simple x-ray films of the abdomen. And the more severe the constipation, the more visualized on x-ray. Barium enema. A barium enema of the lower gastrointestinal GI series is an x-ray study in which liquid barium is inserted through the anus to fill the rectum and colon. The barium outlines the colon on the x-rays and defines the normal or abnormal anatomy of the bowel and rectum. Some additional tests are colonic transit or marker studies, defecography, anorectal motility studies, magnetic resonance imaging defecography, colonic motility studies, treatment. Treatment for chronic constipation usually begins with diet and lifestyle changes meant to increase the speed at which stool moves through your intestines. If those changes don't help, your doctor may recommend medications or surgery. Diet and lifestyle changes. Your doctor may recommend the following changes to relieve your constipation. Increase your fiber intake. Adding fiber to your diet increases the weight of your stool and speeds its passage through your intestines. Slowly begin to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables each day. Choose whole grain breads and cereals. Exercise most days of the week. Physical activity increases muscle activity in your intestines. Try to fit in exercise most days of the week. Don't ignore the urge to have a bowel movement. Take your time in the bathroom, allowing yourself enough time to have a bowel movement without distractions and without feeling rushed. Laxatives. Several types of laxatives exist. Each works somewhat differently to make it easier to have a bowel movement. The following are available over the counter. Fiber supplements. Fiber supplements add bulk to your stool. Stimulants. Stimulants cause your intestines to contract. 
osmotics. Osmotic laxatives help fluids move through the colon. Lubricants. Lubricants such as mineral oil enable stool to move through your colon more easily. Stool softeners. Stool softeners moisten the stool by drawing water from the intestines. Enemas and suppositories. Sodium phosphate, or fleet, soap suds or tap water enemas can be useful to soften stool and produce a bowel movement. Glycerin or bisicotyl suppositories also can soften stool. Surgery. Surgery may be an option if you have tried other treatments and your chronic constipation is caused by a blockage, rectocele, anal fissure, or stricture. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.